Hello everyone and welcome back to Canarium. Last episode, we explored a little bit more in the cabins and stuff. I mean the the crew rooms, I guess. And their offices. We uh, used the key that we had found with, I think it was John DeWitt. Um, we used that key in his locker. But I'm not sure, I don't think we've really found much. Oops, I didn't do that. Uh, sorry, I don't remember how to play. Oh yeah, that's right, okay. I'm trying to remember what happened last episode. We heard some, we heard something on the walkie-talkie, I think, but we didn't know who he was. But they, they knew our name, so I'm not sure. We found this key on a frozen corpse inside the Ukulat base freezer room. That's right, we um we went in the freezer room and found a corpse which looked like it had been there for a while. Or at least it, it had been dead for a while at least. And some trippy stuff happened in that room as well. Very trippy things happened in that room. Yeah, and some scary stuff happened last episode. I'm not sure. I don't really remember what. It's been a little... It hasn't been that long since I last played, but I have been playing other games a lot. It was in this room that... Excuse me? Yeah, it was in this room that a lot of stuff was happening. Did I? Mm, I can't do anything with that. Did I try going in here? Yeah, it's locked. Okay. Um. Yeah, it was this plant that uh, something came out of the plant, and just I don't know some kind of drugs or something that made me hallucinate a lot of stuff. At least I think they were hallucinations. I don't know. What is that noise? He's coughing. Okay, it's not in here. Yeah, there's the corpse that we found. Looks like he's been dead for a while. And here are the aliens. <laughs> Excuse me? I'm trying to... S maybe it's... Hmm. I'm trying to find out what's beeping. I don't know what's beeping. Is it this thing? I think it might be the freezer. Because this freezer is broken. Um, there are a lot of noises in I like it. Did I already look at this? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so if I'm, I'm, I don't really remember everything that happened last episode, um, because I haven't edited that episode yet, and I've been playing a lot of other games. Um, I've been recording a bunch of other games recently, so. Um, so yeah, if you, if you missed last episode for some reason, you should go check it out. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing though. I don't remember exactly what I was doing last episode. Um, I can't go down there or anything. Okay. Um, what is this? This is the floor elevator. Um, there's the link elevator. I think there's something I was trying to do, but I couldn't do yet. Um, what was the need for such security measures? Okay, security measures. Um, 
I can reach both the tower bottom levels below the base. Camp equipment and parts for the portable submarines are being transported to the first camp size. Yeah, that doesn't help me. Looks like I need something to get this elevator to work. Wait, do I have... Wait... Um... I thought I found some kind of... Wait... I keep saying that, sorry! I keep saying wait... <laughs> um... I thought I had some kind of handle... Maybe... I used it? Did I use it somewhere? Oops... Um... Sorry, I totally... I don't remember how to play at all... What is this? What is this? Um... Examine. Yeah. It just says... Photo phonographic cylinder. That's all it says. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go see if... Ah. Can I take this off? No. Apparently not. I'm just going back up. <laughs> it's not exactly what I meant to do. Yeah, so I can't take that off. I thought I thought for sure I got in some kind of handle. I might have to go back and actually watch the last episode because I'm or like at least look at like the last five minutes of it or something. Because I totally forget what I did. What? Did I use a key? Where did the key go? I had a key. What? I totally had a key. Did I use it down there? Go ahead and go back down, I guess. Which means I have to <sighs> do a loading screen again. Yeah, I'm definitely getting um, amnesia vibes from this game. It's not like. Did it go in here? I don't remember looking at this. Uh, oh wait, yes I do. Never mind. <laughs> uh, okay. I think. It's stuck. Tried going in there before. Did this. Did I unlock this door? Aha! Okay. Yes, that's what happened. Um, my vision is a little wonky again. What? Oh, I don't know what that was doing. Um... I can't do anything right now. Ah. I can't even close the door. What the heck? Don't know what to do about that. Oh, okay. This, I'm doing something. What? What the heck? I believe no more can we harbor ourselves at the safest shores, for there are things 
that cannot be undone. I think you should retire to your room. I am going to think a bit more. Okay. What is going on here? <laughs> right, Antarctica, the southernmost continent and south the site of the South Pole is a virtually uninhabited ice covered landmass. Most cruises to the continent visit the Antarctic Peninsula, which stretches towards South America. It is known for the La Mer Channel and Paradise Harbor, striking iceberg flanked passageways and Port Lockroy. Hold on, the music um, is really loud. Okay, that's better. Jeez, that is so ridiculous. Okay. Um, it is known for the La Mer Channel and Paradise Harbor, striking iceberg flanked passageways and Port Lockroy, a former British research station turned museum. The peninsula isolate the polin the peninsula's isolated terrain also shelters rich wildlife wildlife, including many penguins. The rest of the text is illegible. Ag Agartha? Some markings on the Antarctic map. Wait, let's look at this. No. Excuse me? I don't have a flashlight. Good. <laughs> okay. Those are some creepy text. That looks like a very strange language. Hmm. Nova it uh okay. <laughs> Not even gonna try and pronounce any of that. Okay. <laughs> There's a skull. So what about that? It's real dark. I can't see anything. Uh, what? Totally getting amnesia vibes. The mechanics are a little different though. But still. The feel is some very similar. And the ambience. I'm worried that if I do this, um, it's gonna take me back. No, okay. No, it was just, I could just look at it. Okay. Yeah. The door's locked. Hmm. This place is very, uh, Yeah. Falling apart. Mm -hmm. Let me try this door first. That door's locked yeah. too. Okay. Okay, I guess. I'll go this way. Oh. What? Excuse me? What? Um, can I go out? Nope. I don't know what just happened. That was a very trippy experience. And look at these flowers. These it was not like that before. My journal has been updated. How do I look at my journal again? Okay, here we go. 
Uh, first Canarium event and a brief visit to the past. I'm at a complete loss for words. Simple remarks are insufficient to express my feelings right now. Was it a premonition or a vision? How I should interpret all of this, I don't know exactly. Suddenly I found myself drifting into a familiar room. A room that was long buried in my graveyard of memories. Scribed in epitaphs and th of things of long past. Okie dokie. Antarctica, a scientific historical timeline of the unoccupied continent. Brown University Press, 1890. There is another page with blood on it. Diverse, diverse sahi, diverse sahi. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. The legendary drink of the oldest myths. I heard about that elusive mixture decades ago when I was writing my thesis on Salvia Denor De De Venor De Venorum, also known as the Sage of the Diviners. And it Entheogenic plant used mostly in religious or sh shamanic shaman shamanic ceremonies. For centuries, no one could gather any information about it other than its legendary mystical psychoactive properties. In some sources, it was a drink of the gods, while in others, a key for opening gates to places that lie beyond the conventional human senses. The sole bridge to be passed in order to leave the bodily restrictions of the flesh. Most scholars would kill even for a hint about one of its lost ingredients. That's something I was on the lookout for throughout my career. A new formula is forming in my mind. I feel like there is a chance for me to produce. If not the original, then a variant of the legendary mixture. Diverse Sahi. With new with the new clues I have uncovered during my work here. Totally getting amnesia vibes. Like this game is seriously making me think of amnesia. <laughs> because mixture I I'm assuming I'm probably gonna have to make a mix that mixture at some point. Which I did in amnesia. <laughs> Here's more of a sketchbook. Um, okay, somewhat humanoid in form, these sculptures initially reminded us of the terracotta army sculptures carved as a funerary art, buried with, a, with, buried with the first emperor of China to protect him in the afterlife. But judging by the writings on some of the bas reliefs, bas reliefs. Um, now we believe that these wooden puppets or golems were used to carry out some tasks for their masters, just like the Egyptian Ushabtu. Ush, hmm, I, I, I totally, I, I'm sorry. <sighs> I can't. These languages are just really hard for me to pronounce. Uh, funerary figurines, which are the servants of their owner and the hereafter. We saw the golems in several sizes, and it was terrifying to see the huge ones sitting in silence on the carved and polished rock stools as if waiting for a command. Hmm. Interesting. Um, there are lots of gateways leading to dark, leading to dark and damp corridors that were mostly carved in ages past. Some of them were covered by strange ivy-like plants swaying back and forth despite there being no external force to move them. They seemed to come from levels below, creeping through crevices in the rock walls. To stop probable superstitious gossip among the crew, Dr. Barlow, our botany expert, personally started to examine them. Hmm. Okay. I obtained, obtained a trophy item. Nice, nice. Is this the same thing that I looked at? No, this is a, this is different. Um, older city ruins, Cyclopean city, mountains and mountains. Cyclopean city. Gosh, what were they? 
What were they doing up here? I still, like, have no idea. Pronunciation of the Zesis. Okay. Oh, here's another handle. Yay. Now I can go down. Which I'm not sure is a good thing. Don't think I really want to go down. <laughs> South Polar Church. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not so sure I want to go down if that is where the aliens or the monsters or whatever are. It would explain where my crew is. Uh, that would make sense if they, uh, or down in the caves. Um, but since seeing as they, they haven't come back up, <laughs> they might be all dead. That's what I'm guessing. So they're all dead. And I'm going, me going to find them is going to get me killed too. But here we go. I got an achievement, Bellhop. I need to change my settings so that you guys can see when I get Steam achievements. Yeah, that picture makes me really not want to go down in the caves. I think it's not going to be such a good idea. And an auto saved again, which is good, I guess. There's an axe. Am I gonna need to use that as a weapon? Found a camping axe. What is this? I found a note about dangerous plants. And there's some strange vegetation filling most of the hallways, as amazing as it is deadly. There is a hidden world right beneath the Upuat base and and even though I was was prepared to find such a place, it was way different than imagining alone. We tried to cut our way through the we we tried to cut our way through, but the plant reacted with a highly po poisonous gas, seemingly coming from its glowing buds. I issued a warning to stop anyone going near any of those plants they came across in any of those caverns. I also noted a strange phenomenon after I spent some time examining a sample from the plant. It occurred to me that individual vines grow and shrink in length on demand. It also seems as though it can move, even though there are no air currents. And this movement seems too ri regular to be caused by natural factors. Uh, what? <laughs> this may sound strange, but I have the notion that it is conscious, at least on some level. What just happened? Okay, that's still there. Good. Can I take that? No. Apparently not. Okay, so I gotta be careful of dangerous plants. Hey, anyone here? Oh gosh, his voice startled me. Dr. James? Dr. Morgan? Anybody? Where are they, for God's sake? That's a long ways down. I don't like this. I'm 
repairing stuff, moving around, and I, uh, I really don't like it. Are those the plants? I don't know. Oh, those are probably the plants. Okay. Oh. What is this then? Hold on, I'm gonna go back up here real quick. Is that some water? Okay. Well, I guess I will. Looks like something's missing here. Is it the this? Right. So what about that? Can I go in here? These ivy like plants are blocking the way. Equip. This plants will use a poisonous gas for cut. Okay. What am I supposed to do then? If I can't go down, I can't go. How do I use this, by the way? Oh. Uh, wait. Can I pick this one up? No. I can't do anything with this. Hmm. Maybe I need to go back up and see if I can find anything else. But I think I've looked at everything. I picked up everything that I could pick up. Right? There's nothing else over here. Hmm. I'm gonna try going back up. Okay then. Oops. Let's see if there's something that I missed. <laughs> I don't want to backtrack this. That was really creepy. Hmm. Maybe I need to go outside again. It's stuck. Wait. Oh! Well, here we go. Read the description. A statue beautifully carved from a blue crystal. It depicts a humanoid figure sitting in a meditative po posture. The most striking feature of the carving is the octopian, octopian mask it wears on its face. Okay. I got a trophy item. That's it! Dang it, I thought that I had solved it. I was really happy because I was like, uh, didn't have to keep wandering around. But I guess I do. 
Let's see if there's anything else I can open. Well, there is that puzzle that I didn't solve before. Um, maybe the trick to, to um, getting you to getting that um, thing that I need is solving that puzzle. Where's the four element? Okay. Well, I guess I'll go back up. Huh. But I'm not sure how to solve that puzzle. It was, um, it's over here somewhere. This is the infirmary. So I don't think there was anything in there. I do not like those doors closing behind me. It's, it's very weird. Okay, there's the ready room. Um, but I think it, it was it was in here somewhere. Okay, it's in here. Okay. What? Light. Hmm. Wait. I found a note about the location of the base. Wait, what? Um. Okay. I haven't looked at this. Um, after a haphazard and momentary aerial exploration of the unholy, utterly alien cyclopean maze of, of square, curved, and angled blocks, <laughs> we could detect most of the locations revealed by the precious Miskatonic University expedition leader, the Professor Emer Emeritus William Dyer. But what we are looking for is not there inside the haunted Shagath ruins. According to various sources, it should be right it should be in the much older ruins beyond the Elder City, right on the edge of a mountain beyond the Mountains of Madness. It was built over a location deeply shunned even by the Elder Things and built long before the colossal city Dr. Dyer and his team explored. Now we set foot upon lands no one has ever seen before, a vast mass of dry land around the South Pole which rose from the prim primal waters when the old ones seeped down from the stairs. A place so evil, most of the arcane sources hesitated to record it at all, while some murals within the Elder City depicted it with obvious repun repungence and trepidation. Hmm. Okay. Did I read this? Generated voice is outputted to speakers and clean power need to be needs to be regulated. Main feed input backside. Auditory and visual data are fed to the main system by the primary primary filters. Is it really possible to see the machine with an actual brain? 
Ancient sources speak too secretly, sec secretively about this, based on the writings of our Bacon and Wolfgang von Kemp Kempeling. I will try to improve the machine. Weird. Yeah, I don't think I've read that before. I'm not sure why. What? What did that mean? I'm not sure. supposed to do here. Trial and error. <laughs> I guess. There we go. Creepy. Very creepy. Not sure I like this. Who are you? Uh, I'm, I'm Frank. Frank Human. Is that so? Is there a problem with that? My name is Frank Gilman, an anthropologist joining this expedition upon the invitation by Venerable Dr. Faust himself. That it's me. That's absurd. Why? You were claiming that you're me, Frank Gilman, but you were just a machine. Where's everybody? What do you know about Dr. Foss? Okay, Frank, tell me why you're here exactly. Hmm. Let me say this. You're claiming that you are me, Frank Gilman. But you are just a machine. And you are just air. What? Air? What do you mean by that? Air? What do you mean by that? <laughs> it doesn't answer me. Where is everybody? Where is everybody? They are here. Mm, that's creepy. Very creepy. I don't see anybody around, are you sure? I don't see anybody around. Are you sure? Yes. What do you know about Dr. Faust? What do you know about Dr. Faust? Faust. He is the Grand Mastermind and the pioneer of this expedition. Okay. okay, Frank. Tell me why are you here exactly? I am here because of my extensive knowledge on the human pineal gland. I am one of the canarinals. Voyagers beyond. Beyond? What? Beyond? What beyond? No answer. You found a secret. Interesting. Is it going away? Um. Okay. Uh, that strange device fascinated and horrified me in equal measure. It seems that it is able to reply to my questions with logical answers. But how could that be possible? Its eyes were so devoid of meaning that they disur disturbed me deeply. Above all, after speaking with it, I sensed explicitly a feeling of forlornness. 
as if loneliness is starting to give way to such singularities, signifying that I shall continue to be a stranger inside this desolate late place, all alone for some time. Okay, interesting. Alright, well, my timer went off, so yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and end this episode here. Um, next episode, I guess I will try and figure out, um, I will try and find the thing that I'm supposed to use with that, uh, machine in the, in, downstairs, uh, in the caves, I guess. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll try and figure that out next episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please go and check out some other Let's Plays that I've done down in the description below. I've done a lot of other games that you can go and check out, and I plan on doing a lot more in the future, so subscribe if you'd like to see more of that. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time with another video. Bye-bye.